So I just wanted to go through some of the MCU Marvel Legends that were revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. And so they released the Disney Plus Wave, or revealed, I should say. They revealed the Disney Plus Wave, which most of us have seen already um, through leaked images and stuff. The interesting thing is they didn't announce like a pre-order or anything like that for this Disney Plus Wave yet. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, but it has Kingpin, which I'm pretty excited for. Probably out of this whole wave, that's really the only one I really want. Looks pretty cool. A little, little small for Kingpin, I think. Uh, but he looks pretty cool overall. I've been wanting this Kingpin for a while. And then we have the Thanos Gamora from the first season of What If. That one looks pretty cool, but I don't, I'll probably get her eventually just... Maybe if she goes on sale or something. And then there's the um, uh, uh, Bill Foster's. And that's supposed to be from What If Season 2, which hasn't came out yet. But since it uh, Season 2 got delayed, so it is probably supposed to be out by now. But anyway. And then we have Yelena from The Hawkeye Show. Um, her look in that show. And it's okay. Um, the face sculpt is definitely better than the older one. But I personally like the look of the older one better. So I probably won't get this one. Um, then we have Agatha Harkness. Which is it's pretty cool. I like to have new characters. Um, and she's an interesting character. And especially since she's getting her own show now. It's, it's sort of cool to have that figure. Um, but she's not like a must have for me. And then the Build-A-Figure for that wave is the Hydra Stomper. I know we already had a Hydra Stomper. Um, this is the Hydra Stomper from What If Season 2. Well, actually, it's part of Season 1 as well. Because at the very, very end of Season 1, there's like the post credit scene of Steve still alive or whatever. So that's what this um, Hydra Stomper is supposed to be. This new Build-A-Figure Hydra Stomper looks a lot better than the one we have right now I really like that gray and that silver on there looks really good and it does come with the um, alternate uh, Steve Rogers head for it but I don't really think it's necessary considering they literally just did the other Hydra Stomper not too long ago we could have gotten something else like um, uh, Abomination from uh, She-Hulk or something I don't know I feel like there's a lot of other possibilities they could have done with that but yeah and then for the secret invasion ones which were already revealed uh the nick fury and talos nick fury um i do want this figure just because i don't have the one from age of or no from the first avengers from that three pack so i really want this nick fury and talos i have the talos from captain marvel um, so I'll probably just stick with that one because I got that one for like 10 bucks. So I may not pick up this Talos, I don't know. So now on to the more interesting ones, in my opinion. The Infinity Saga line. So they revealed three different figures. So the first one here is a Black Widow. So this one comes with two different head sculpts. Sort of the longer hair from the Winter Soldier. And then the shorter, sort of curlyish hair from the first Avengers movie. I think Age of Ultron as well. Um, but I don't really care for the long-haired head sculpt. I don't know. The hair just looks sort of weird. It sits weird on the head. I don't know. Uh, but I like the short-haired one. Or short-haired version looks pretty good. And they did some um, updates on the body, I believe. I'm not 100%, and she comes with guns, which is pretty cool. And then the next one they revealed is the Iron Man Mark II, which is just the um, Iron Man Mark III that they just released, just repainted all silver, pretty much. But it's pretty cool. Um, I probably, personally, won't pick this one up, um, but it is, it's really cool. Um, and it's cool to just have different versions of... Iron Man or have all the different suits and stuff but personally I unless it goes on like clearance or something I probably won't pick that one up um, and then this one 
is my personal favorite out of all of them the Bruce Banner figure so this one's inspired by the Infinity War look for Bruce Banner which is pretty cool I, the only thing um, I wish he would have came with like some glasses or something that way you can have him in a different look have his glasses on like even if it's like a separate piece you can just slide on there that would been pretty cool but I've been wanting a uh, Mark Ruffalo um, Bruce Banner for a while uh, the only other one we have is from the four pack from Age of Ultron and that one it looks okay but it's not the greatest this one looks really really good because the head sculpt looks just like Bruce Banner or uh, Mark Ruffalo so that I'll definitely be getting that one and at the end of the presentation they gave us two teases so the first one is sort of that box um, in, from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home that you could push the button and it would send all the uh, villains back to their universes or whatever that Doctor Strange had. And then the second one is a pretty obvious one. It's a Doc, Doc Ock tentacle. So definitely got some No Way Home figures coming probably Doc Ock and I don't know what the cube one would be um I don't know maybe like a green goblin with the cube I don't know surely it wouldn't be another like do uh, uh, Doctor Strange or Spider-Man I feel like it'd be something different it has to be another villain because uh, they have the Doc Ock one and then this, I I would imagine, would be Green Goblin. Because I think Green Goblin's the only one that really touched the cube out of the villains. I could be wrong on that. But I'm definitely excited for the No Way Home fi uh, figures. Because <sighs> it already, it's already been like over two years since the movie came out. And we just got the Spider-Man No Way Home 3 pack. And so now I'm, I'm excited for more figures from No Way Home. Uh, so yeah, out of all these figures, the main one that I care about is the Bruce Banner figure. So also I was going to mention the X-Men 97 wave that they have coming out. So they have Storm, Wolverine, Bishop, Gambit, Rogue, and Magneto. All from the X-Men 97 uh, or the X-Men series from the 90s. Um, and these, actually, I know that they're not really MCU figures, but I thought they were pretty cool. Um, I mainly collect MCU, but I do collect a little bit of other stuff. Um, and I'm really, I don't know, I'm pretty tempted to get these at, when they come out. Um, that Wolverine looks cool. And I, I really like all these figures, look really pretty cool. It might it might cause me to start co collecting more X Men figures, like I have the um, like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and stuff like that, like the live action X Men, but the animated looks are really cool. So I don't know. Um, so that's pretty much all they revealed. Um, the Disney Plus wave we pretty much already knew about because it had been leaked and everything. Um, so really the only ones we really got were the three Infinity Saga figures. And out of those three, the only one I'm really excited for is the Bruce Banner figure. That one's pretty cool. Which they do have um, Hasbro PulseCon coming up in August. So maybe they're saving some reveals for that. That could be what the um, like No Way Home teases are for. For... Um, the Hasbro Pulse Con or something like that. So I'm hoping that we get at least a couple No Way Home figures come out this year. Or sometime soon. Um, and then I don't know what else will be coming out. Because um, they have Deadpool 3 is coming out in May. So it's only like 10 months away or so. So I would imagine 
they would have some kind of figures coming out for that movie. But since it's get, uh, the writer strike and actor strike and everything like that, Deadpool 3 might get postponed. I don't know. Um, but that'd be cool to get some figures of that um, from that movie. Like uh, a Wolverine, a live action Wolverine in his like actual yellow costume would be cool. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if they've started on Deadpool 3 movie uh, figures yet. That'd be pretty cool though. And surely we're going to get some more reveals. Because we have like Loki Season 2 coming out. Um, what else do we have here? Then we're supposed to have Echo dropping, I think it was in October. That are just dropping like the whole season at once. So we can binge it. Which might be pretty cool. But I'd imagine we'd get some figures for that. Maybe they'll do it later. I don't know. But I think we'll definitely get something for like Deadpool 3. Maybe at least like another Deadpool figure and a Wolverine figure would be cool. And that movie is supposed to be loaded, loaded with characters. So I'm sure that will get revisited several times. Because there's supposed to be all kinds of cameos in it. Um, like everybody from the uh, original X-Men cast. Um, everybody from the Fox universe like... Uh, the old Fantastic Four from like 04 or 05 I think it was and Elektra uh, Ben Affleck is Daredevil like all kinds of stuff so I I would imagine they'll at least do a few figures from that movie here soon but yeah that one will be sort of like a no way home where probably to get a lot of the figures for like cameos and stuff it'll probably be like years from now because it's sort of like no way home trying to get toby mcguire and andrew garfield figures took over a, a year no over two years after the movie came out to actually get the figures it took a year after that for them to announce it but you know what i mean so all those figures or all those characters in deadpool 3 are gonna take forever for them to get released i'm still waiting on like the illuminati from uh multiverse of madness and what else there's a few other ones i wanted and like the no way home villains but they're already working on those so yeah but that is pretty much all they revealed at comic-con so let me know which ones you're excited about which ones you're not um obviously they revealed a few other uh, Marvel Legends, but they weren't MCU or anything, so I'm not really going to go over those. Um, but there's several people that streamed the uh, the pre presentation and stuff, so if you want to watch the whole thing, you can go check those out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.